Hello everyone, this is Brian Wood. Welcome to Fun with Benchview. Today we're going to talk about test flow and specifically how to add some variables to a sequence that uh, use the string data type to allow you to do simple things like ask an operator to enter a yes or a no instead of typing in a one or a zero to uh, get the sequence to do different things. I'm sitting in my ham radio shack, so let's uh, it kind of makes me feel right at home and ready to explore the wonders of Benchview with you. So let's get started. All right, let's see how we can do a simple test flow example here using uh, yes or no answers to a question. We won't need instruments for this little demo, so we'll get rid of the instrument bar and create a little more space. Expanding the more blocks section, we look for a question. Ask user allows us to ask the user to enter something, which will be put in a variable. So we're going to ask enter Y for yes or N for no. We have to put a variable there, so we're going to have to go create one. We'll just call it answer. And drag it over into the ask user block. All right, now we have to define some variables yes and no that we can use to compare with the answer. So let's create a yes and a no. And we'll have to define those to be some string. So for yes, we'll just give it the string y. And for no, we'll give it the string n. And notice that TestFlow has figured out that that's a string variable instead of a num number. All right, now we want to be able to tell what we've entered. So we'll say if the answer equals yes, then prompt you typed Y. Otherwise, you typed N. Now, you may have not actually typed N, so we really need another if-then-else statement in here. So we'll drag another one over and say if the answer equals n or no, <laughs> then we're going to prompt you typed n. Otherwise, you didn't type a y or an n, we'll uh, catch that condition as well. Duplicating the block is the quickest way to get that prompt back in there. And then we'll say you typed neither y nor n. All right, let's try it. OK, we're being asked to enter something. We'll enter a Y. And sure enough, it detected that we typed Y. Let's try it with an N. Yep, it caught that one too. And just to be sure, let's try typing something else, neither Y nor N. How about X. And sure enough, it caught that. 